News for Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. Breaking news tonight. News for Jack's crews are on scene at two different shootings right now. One on the city's north side, the other across town on the south side. Sources are telling us that at least one person is dead in that shooting at the Beachwood Apartments. That's near FSCJ's south campus. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny is there. Eric, what do we know so far? Yes, well, we've been out here for a little more than an hour. I've spoken with neighbors who say that shortly around 9 o'clock, this area sounded more like a war zone as multiple shots were being fired from inside the Beachwood apartment there. Now, they say that it sounded like all the shots came from one gun, and they say the shots were so loud that it sounded like they came from a semi-automatic rifle as opposed to a handgun. Now, we do know that although this area right here is part of the crime scene, we're being told by multiple people that the actual shooting took place on the other side of these buildings here in this apartment complex. Uh, since we've been at this location, we've been able to see that there is a black car uh, that appears to be involved in the shooting, and that car is riddled with large bullet holes. It appears that that car may have crashed into another vehicle as well as a fence. Uh, again, we've, we've seen a lot of police uh, focus their attention around that car. And just moments ago, I spoke with a, um, a neighbor who lives out here. She described what she heard and what she saw. I want you to listen. I heard about seven to nine loud gunshots, not an ordinary gunshot. And when I came outside to see what was going on, I saw the vehicle that was shot run into the fence um, in the neighborhood. Did it appear to also maybe run into another vehicle? It did. There's some type of Jeep or something sitting there. Now, another man I spoke with also says he was out here and he saw that vehicle run. And I'm going to step out of the way here. It's that black vehicle run into that Jeep and also look, which looks like a fence that is like bolt uh, that is bent over. Again, on the other side of this building is where police have now focused a lot of their attention because that is from where we're being told where the shooting actually happened. So this crash scene is what happened after the shooting, just moments afterwards. Of course, we're still trying to get more information and at some point, JSO. So we'll uh, have a briefing to let us know what they know. And as soon as we get that information, we're going to post that on our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station. Eric, thank you. We're also on the scene of another shooting tonight. This one is near Dunn Avenue over on the north side. And News for Jacks reporter Maggie Lorenz is there live. And Maggie, what can you tell us about what's happening at that scene? So there's really not too much of a scene left now. You can see that there still are a couple of JSO cruisers that remain out here. And like you said, this is Dunn Avenue. We're near Duval Road. And for reference, we're right across the street from Garden City Elementary. But JSO wants to stress that the school is not involved in this investigation. So yes, it was a very active scene when we got here around 10 o'clock. But JSO is starting to pack up. But they were out here for hours. They first got that 911 call around 630 this evening. And when officers got here, they found a silver Jeep that had crashed into a fence with a man somewhere around 20 to 25 years old inside of that Jeep. He had been shot multiple times and was still alive when officers got into the car. He was rushed to the hospital where he later died from his injuries. We got here right as detectives were hauling away that Jeep for further investigation. A sergeant on scene here tells us there were 20 rounds fired and because of the amount of gunfire that sergeant said they don't know if there are multiple shooters, but they are canvassing this area looking for any witnesses and whoever is responsible for this is still on the loose. I asked JSO if there's any threat if people who live around here need to be worried. The sergeant tells me that as with any homicide investigation, yes, they're asking that people stay alert and to report any information that they may have. Again, a man aged 20 to 25 is dead following the shooting. We asked JSO if there's any vehicle or suspect information people can be on the lookout for. That sergeant tells us they don't have that, but they are working to release something. So we'll keep you updated. In the meantime, if you have any information, call JSO. Reporting live on the north side, I'm Maggie Lorenz, Channel 4, the local station.